I fell in love in Diani, Kenya. Welcome to the sands at Nomad, Diani, the most beautiful beach in Africa. For several years, Diani has been ranked the best beach in Africa. It stretches about 17 kilometers of silky white sands, warm tacos waters, and loads of bliss. Your Kenyan trip is incomplete if you don't get to experience this. this episode, I'm going to take you to a tropical paradise here in Diani, Kenya. The award-winning boutique resort, the perfect getaway for those wanting to experience the breathtaking beach. <laughs> Diani Beach is located at the Kenya southern coast, which is one hour by flight from Kenya's capital, Nairobi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sands at Nomad. My first impression is that all the staff are welcoming and friendly. Immediately, I felt at home. Customer service is very important okay, Thank to me. you. Our drinks. Welcome drink. Thank you. It's of orange and mango. Thank you. Okay, thank you so Fresh much. Squeezed. Fresh squeezed. My name is Purity. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Purity. <laughs> Immediately after we checked in, we were ushered to lunch with a view. I can best describe the food as sumptuous. Come my view right now. Ooh. Love, 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 love this. lunch is here so we have some salad we have some potato wedges we have some t-bone steak like really massive with garlic and what are you having rice uh -huh. and goat stew goat stew in an african pot yes. how is it have you tested it yeah it looks nice uh -huh. it tastes nice it tastes nice yes. yummy this is good that's good and my favorite thing about this is just the view like you know the waves crashing on the shores of the ocean I want to give you a quick room tour before I miss the place. I got one of the best beachfront bandas. You are literally 15 steps away from the beach and you have a private access to the beach. If you want somewhere peaceful, well, then this is the place to be.
I just spotted something nice, really, really nice. Look at this. Another customized message with my name. And let me read the message. Well, the message reads, Dear Miss, of course my name, Welcome to the Sons of Nomad. We are delighted you have chosen us to treat for your retreat and we will do our utmost to make your stay enjoyable and memorable. Our culinary team is looking forward to spoil you to specific tests and our spa therapist will invite you to our tempting choices of treatment and build a personal experience to soothe your spirit, rejuvenate your body and enrich your mind. Should you require any further assistance, it would be our pleasure to fulfill your wishes or needs. Please don't hesitate to contact us personally. Sincerely, signed. Ooh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, the room has everything that you need. Whether you are on a vacation, vacation, or whether you are on a work holiday. A coffee station, a study desk. And my favorite thing is the pristine white bedding and towels. That's very important for me too. Something really cool about this resort is that it has a mobile application that can help you planning your activities around here and also for notifications. There is always a lot of good stuff going on here. For instance, I spent the afternoon relaxing by the beach before going for a cocktail. Since it's normal, sometimes organize these kind of events for their clients to socialize the network for those ones who are interested. Did I mention that the bill for the drinks and the snacks is on the hotel? <laughs> How cool is that? So dinner, okay, the view is dark now, but it's still lovely. You can see it's drizzling and I'm having some rice and goat stew. I just love how they serve in this, like, you know, traditional pots. It's amazing. good morning good morning beautiful people it is such a beautiful morning and i'm in awe in this paradise literally i had such a lovely lovely night the bed is so comfortable and i slept like a baby stroll at the beach is a must do for me it's like therapy and what better way to start the day I live 
for moments like this waking up to this every morning is so therapeutic just look at this the view of the ocean the beautiful blue waters but i'm quite early today so the what the sun is not yet out so by the time the sun is coming out it's gonna be all beautiful and blue wow i would never trade this light for anything else and you know once in a while take that break take a vacation come here to diani enjoy these beautiful white sandy beaches can you see how beautiful and clean they are all the way white sandy beaches and of course we have a beautiful resort to this side the sunset nomad you can see how it stands out very beautiful you are it's like a combination of being both in the wild and at the beach at the same time like what better blend would you want i really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Wish that someone could say after spending time uplifting my soul and spirit by the beach, it's time to prepare and head straight for breakfast. Look at this beautiful breakfast setup. Try! I'm not even leaving this place. This food is calling my name. Just serve my breakfast and look at this. This is what we call breakfast to the view. So I have my bowl of health here. So I have my fruits here. I have my bananas. I have some fruits here. We have um, pineapple, uh, passion fruit, mango, watermelon, and we have a sandwich. And we have this is moringa powder. And of course, I have some juice and also some cappuccino i love my coffee too so amazing love it Finally, we are here at the water sports section. This place actually have a water sports section and you see the diving school. I was actually told that this was the first diving school in Kenya for those ones who want to learn how to dive. So let's get into the diving school, the crab, and see what they have. Hello. Yeah, hello, good morning. Good morning, hello, how are I'm, you? I'm very fine. What can I do for you? I want to know how to die. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I want to know, like, what do you do here? Okay, here we are specialized in uh, scuba diving, uh -huh. whereby uh, we do take certified divers out. Mm -hmm. In case you do want to take a lesson, you're not a diver, also we train. So you can train me and I, I become a diver? Of course. Okay, so uh, for Kenyans, we do give 20% discount. Oh, discount for Kenyans. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there's credit for that. Uh huh. Yeah. So we give twenty percent discount. Oh, so here are the rates. These are our rates. Uh huh. So like uh, you can see, Kenya courses minimum age is ten. Ah, oh, all right. So if you're and interested to see, these are the rates. Yes. 
can someone get a license that they can from here that they can use in any part of the world this is international we are affiliated to party party means a professional association of driving instructors this is international uh, well after learning a little bit about diving i know i have some people who might be interested in that so i'm more interested in going to kayak so let's head to the kayaking place and this is the best water sports center here in Diani. So if you're interested in any water sports, you can do it to the experts. I'm interested in kayaking. Okay, so prepare yourself and then we go kayaking. After breakfast, I want to learn kayaking and try some new water sports. This place has the best rated water sports center in the region with a highly qualified team. So I'm pretty confident to learn some water sports while here. I'm so glad I got to take these lessons on how to kayak with an expert because I'm going to expedition conquering Robinson Island. So there's a certain island that happens at a certain time of the day, mostly in the morning hours, and these lessons are going to be very functional or very beneficial for me in order to get to that island. Let's see how this is going to go tomorrow. You wanna go alone? That was fun, right? I love it. After learning to kayak, next is swimming at the pool. I love water. This place has an amazing pool with the deep end being five meters deep. Perfect for diving. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up a love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is young, don't need anybody else. So when you're swimming and you want to take a break, you can actually come and take, this is like a, an island on top of the water because all this is water. And then you even have a place here where you can charge a phone and order a drink or something. Well, so in case you want to be more adventurous and you don't want to swim in the swimming pool here, you can come to this side. I love, I love these umbrellas with the African fabric. <laughs> anyway, so you can come to this side and swim at the ocean so we just had the beachfront oh the tide has come in well it's lunch o'clock and look at this so came out for lunch and this is the view the skies are clear today and really really beautiful so i'm having some salad with the view of the ocean oh my meal is here so wow so I'm gonna have this is called matoke so this is bananas and this is rice so it's like banana matoke stew in an African pot and rice so let me give it a try super excited I really enjoyed my meals for the five days I spent in this boutique resort they offer a wide variety of local to international dishes they also have the best wine list in the south coast a relaxed beachside dining with organic fresh from the farm ingredients. This is the best spot in Diani Beach and here's a glimpse. See that? Yeah, you can see some maize on the side. So you're the fire, you're the flare, you're the song inside my head. And I will taste every note, feel so good. You're the fire, you're the flare, you're the song inside my head, and I will taste. 
I spent the rest of the afternoon enjoying some live band serenading us at the restaurant. It is important to note that this restaurant is open to non-residents too. So even if you are not staying at Sunset Nomad, you can still come and enjoy some delicacies and views and moments here at this restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's mother and child running away from you, and another one is there. <laughs> oh, there are plenty! Uh, there are plenty! <laughs> chicky monkeys. They told you there's gonna be chicky monkeys on the side, so this is free National Geographic <laughs> with a beach. Hey, what's up? This is the one with the baby. Baby, don't fall. The, it cannot fall. Good evening, good evening. So you know what time it is? It is six thirty. So I'm going to be heading for the Bush Baby experience. So I'm going to the Bush Baby Cafe. So they have a place here where you can actually go and feed the Bush Babies and they keep time. So if you're not there by six forty to forty five, you won't get them. So let's rush there before it's too late. Let's go. The pool looks so inviting this night. Jumbo. Welcome, welcome. I'll come to for the Bush Baby Cafe. Yeah. Oh, the, this side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so now we're feeding the Bush Baby. I'm gonna use this camera <laughs> to hold it. I hope it doesn't fall. Make sure the camera does not fall. Sure. Okay. Hey, baby. There, yeah, baby. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I think it's but Don't fall. It's full now. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Well, so this is the tepanyaki place for the evening experience. If you wanna eat somewhere with fresh food, readily prepared, here it is. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You're welcome for the Japanese restaurant. Eh? Oh. Are you joining us tonight? I'm gonna join you tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. <laughs> yes, I yeah. just came to see. Uh, what what do you cook here? Yeah, we're having a variety of seafood, chicken, beef. Uh huh. We have some uh, Chinese uh, sushis. Uh huh. Like uh, dozas. Uh huh. We have the the dumplings. We call them uh, yakitoris. Uh huh. So this is a variety of uh, different food. Very healthy and very nice. Awesome. So you awesome. You can join us tomorrow. All right, I'll yeah. definitely will. You're welcome. All right, thank you so okay, much. What's your name? Lin. Lin. Huh? Yeah. My name is Saidi. Nice meeting you, Saidi. Nice meeting you. All right, Good. thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah. Dinner under the stars. Yes. <laughs> like that thing. Today yeah. I'm going at the beach. Dinner at the, the beach. beach huh? Yeah. You're enjoy the stars yes. Yeah. All right, thank you. Bye. Tonight I'll sleep in this old house where dreams were built up from the ground. A castle built up in the clouds eventually must fall. Tomorrow I'll wake up and wish that the slip would never fit. And maybe someday I'll forget we ever loved at all. Remember what it felt like. Guys, let me know what do you think about this setup? Oh my goodness, what vibe is it giving? It's giving me everything self-love love romance everything with a view of the ocean although you can't see much you can hear the waves crashing on the shores oh my goodness this is amazing i love 
love love this with the lamps you know you can do this to your partner you can do this for yourself you know to just have a good time treat yourself spoil yourself self love and all that oh my goodness love and lives in men Memories I only see you in my dreams A dungeon deep inside of me Never to escape We had it all The sun and moon and stars in all of me and you This dinner setup was one of the highlights of my stay Sometimes this setup is done for all guests on full moon I was lucky to experience both a private dinner on one night and a full moon dinner the next day. Wow! And look at the beach setup. Oh my goodness, this is giving everything. Every, every, everything. You wanna be here. One of my favorite things that I've been enjoying while here is the salad. So out of curiosity, I decided to find out where do they get their salads from. The freshest ever, all the time, all the, all the time, the salads are really fresh. So apparently they have an eco farm and y'all know me, y'all know I love farming. Sometimes I say if I wasn't doing this, I'll probably be farming anyway. So they've organized a tour for me to go and see their farm and I'm super excited about it. So my payment your best. In Kiswahili they say my payment your best. So it's early morning and I want to go and see their eco farm and see where my food comes from. Come with me and let's go. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I'm sorry about the weather. Oh, it's okay. I, I was trying to talk to the big guy up there, but he wasn't listening to me. This is good, good weather for farming. It's anyway. the best. Yeah, farming. we're happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Good. Um, so yeah, because it's horrible weather, let me give you a quick walkthrough, and okay. I can explain what we do and why. All right. And then you can try and tie that into the idea of the hotel. Okay. Um, and what makes us different. Oh, okay. lovely. So yeah. we'll actually start over here. Okay. Um, at the moment, the way you've come, we're actually in the middle of upgrading and renovating our entire farm. 
uh -huh. so everything we've been running up to now has been like a bit of a juakali farm like very organic farming a um, bit of mixed cropping so nothing very commercial you know mm -hmm. but now it's got to a stage where suddenly the name of the farm is growing and ah. people are showing an interest so now we're trying to find a way to use permaculture and organic farming techniques without using chemicals mm -hmm. but to actually try and boost our productivity to make it more so hence we're putting in greenhouses um, uh -huh. but yeah where do we start the okay. best place to start the soil uh -huh. udongo Udongo. Udongo. Yeah. I, I've heard you speaking Swahili. You lived here for long. Yeah, I moved here in 2013. I'm a Kenyan. I'm originally from Diani. Oh, you're yeah. born here? Yeah, I'm born in Mombasa. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. I heard you speak Swahili very good, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's lovely. Anyway. Okay, so, basically, uh -huh. this is where we start, okay? Uh -huh. It looks like a mess, uh -huh. but that is why it is actually so important. When I say Udongo, uh -huh. So many farmers, they always think above the soil. Yeah. Very few of them think below the soil. Mm -hmm. When all of the natural organisms are the ones that are going to be making us able to farm. Yeah. Um, you know, if I was to be putting chemical fertilizers like NPK, what you end up doing is you kill all the natural organisms in your soil. And it means every single year, you now have to buy more fertilizer, more, fertilizer, more, more money, fertilizer, more yeah. money. But if you use natural farming techniques, mm -hmm. like building your own compost, mm -hmm. you don't need to buy fertilizer, you save yourself money. Mm -hmm. So we use the waste from Nomad. I don't know if you'll see it now, but the pickup okay. comes in here and every mm -hmm. single day it drops off all of the fruit and vegetable waste from the hotel and restaurants uh -huh. and all of the leftover food from the plates in case uh -huh. you've got some leftovers. We don't, we don't waste it. The oh. fruit and vegetable waste comes here. We build compost piles, Mambolea, lots of Mambolea. Oh, this from the our, food? Yeah, waste, food, oh. food waste. Okay. Yeah, so you can see here we even have like bits of coconut here. There's uh -huh. even some mango shells. Uh -huh. You'll see there's even bits of waste because even mm -hmm. waste can creep into it. Yeah. Mr. Ati took us through the organic farm and it was quite enlightening. I love the fact that they don't use any artificial fertilizers to grow their crops or chemicals to rear their chicken. If you care about healthy eating, well, now you have a plug in Diani. Like I mentioned earlier, the restaurant also serves non-residents. Um, uh -huh. On a good day, we're getting about six trays a day. Six um, trays of eggs. When it's raining like this today, we'll probably get about three. Ah. Oh. The thing about an organic farm yeah. is we cannot have any chemicals. No uh -huh. pesticides, no fertilizers. I love that it's organic, so everything you eat, and I love that you've, you, it's what you serve at the restaurant. Yeah. So everything you eat, you sh very sure there's no crazy chemicals oh, yeah. used and all that. Imagine I don't eat eggs anywhere else. I'll only eat eggs at Nomad because I know where the eggs come from. Exactly. There's so many farmers, they'll put um, antibiotics to their chickens because the chickens are sick. Uh -huh. And you're not supposed to be harvesting eggs after that. But yeah. People will still sell the eggs. Yeah. If you are interested in organic farming and learning more about it, you can talk to the resort during your stay and they can actually organize this Thank for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank you guys for coming. It's really Asante nice to meet you. Ooh, very bright and sunny time here. Time to go to some island that appears in the water at a certain time but by midday it's all gone so if you want to go to this island you have to do it in the morning hours so it's about nine something almost ten so i'm gonna take a kayak and rush there come with me the tide is in and the island is somewhere around that side towards that side remember a few days ago i took some kayaking lessons well, today I'm going to be kayaking for about five kilometers into an island in the middle of the ocean surrounded by water. Let's do this. Mama! Oh, God! Oh, we just 
see the island. <laughs> what a journey. <laughs> I don't know who told me to try this crazy thing. <laughs> Missing right, 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 what good times. See what we are missing. Guys. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, guys. It's like we have gone past two kilometers. So from down, 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 down there. And we are headed to over here, this island on the Indian Ocean. We came down from all the way down there, more than three kilometers away. Look, people are just arrived there. Yeah, we did it. You see, it's different, different between women and men. I said we did it. She said I did it. Even though we are two on this boat. successful expedition we returned back to shore safe and sound and of course we had an amazing the best guide ever that led us there and also led us on our way back here and i'm just so grateful for this experience it's the most challenging thing that i've tried to do this year and i'm so proud of myself well now that i've already shown and experienced some aspects of this resort i'm very curious to see what the rest of it looks like apart from everything that you have seen me experience there is so many amenities and activities here including a gym yeah i love mm. it you got all the and you're working out in nature mm. it's actually moving even without putting <laughs> even anything before, yeah. before you switch <laughs> like it's ready for nice, me already it? yes yeah, it's nice mm -hmm. 
and you're just looking at nature. This is so yeah, therapeutic. Yeah, you're looking, yeah, it's just all of it around in nature. Wow. Yeah. Uh, spa. Yeah, so please come through. Um, Tiffany is oh. our spa receptionist, uh -huh. takes good care of the spa. Mm -hmm. Make sure all the bookings are in order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the boutique as well? Have you been to the boutique? I haven't been to the boutique, but okay. I've been to the diving school. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. Okay. This is our boutique. Mm -hmm. Nice little boutique with some Hello. personalized things, craft, traditional Kenyan artifacts. Kenyan, yes. Hello, Mary. Oh. How are you? You all right? How's your day today? And now we're behind the restaurant. Yeah, behind the restaurant. And what's going on here? Some pizza. Heading to my favorite place. Hey, we're heading to something place. nice. <laughs> I think I can guess what that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ice cream parlor. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Let's go and see what we have there. <laughs> oh my now, goodness. This place uh -huh. I tell you is favorite with kids. Uh -huh. This is their favorite I'm a kid. place. And adults as well. But I'm if you come here with kids, ah, uh -huh. they will not get out of here. They just stick here until they get their ice cream. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> Somewhere out here. Out here. Maybe on this table here. This... Hey, Jumbo, how are you? Mm. It, it's a burst of flavor. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the exact. It's a burst of flavor <laughs> as it melts into your mouth. I love the view. Yeah. Ice cream with a view. What more would I ask for? <laughs> This is blessings. Winnie! <laughs> I can't believe that after five days, my stay here at Sunset Nomad is coming to an end. And this is my last dinner. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is my last dinner, but dinners have always been special here. A lot of performance, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of live bands, a lot of entertainment, the calmness and everything. Oh my goodness. Let's enjoy one more dinner here.